and top. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I guess some people don't get it. My sign had nothing to do with the election per se. It was on this whole issue, and you're holding to the signage limitations and uh, basically overturn Overton. I have strong disagreement with the fact that you try to regulate the size of political signs. It has nothing to do with the election. The election's over. The issue is not. I had hoped that the issue would have been over long before the sign even went up, but it's not over. It's dragging on, it's dragging on, it's dragging on. It was going to be three months. Now it's going to be, what, about 16 or so months before we even have a chance of concluding it. Uh, as I said, that wasn't my intention. If people don't want to look at my sign, don't look at it. There's two sides of the street. So if you want to walk by, you can look at the Sitco, which is equally as large. You can look at Discount Liquors. You can look at the bank building, which sprouts signs faster than you guys can change your regulations. You can look at CL Adams, which has some of the largest signage in the area. I'm not complaining about any of them. But go to the North Green. Are we going to complain about that next week? The Lions Club has a big Christmas sign there. Uh, that hasn't been in anyone's complaints or Duncan's photos yet tonight. I mean, maybe Adele wants to pick on that, too. Uh, Thank you very much. But that's, I mean, there are a lot of things that can be tied in together here. Yeah. And that's, that's what that's there for. And I'll also remind you what I said earlier, that when you were running at your headquarters, you exceeded 12 square feet. I, and I think that's within your right. I see no fault with that whatsoever. But the fact that your headquarters had more than 12 square feet basically says that you thought you needed more than 12 square feet, too. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah. Sorry. Mr. McNally, I just want to clarify your second set of statements. Um, are you advocating for no restriction at all? <laughs> there have been some issues brought up about lighting, you know, signs with neon on it um, in a residential neighborhood. Uh, there have been some, you know, some issues brought up by the public. Are you, I want to know, I'm just curious in clarifying, where are you advocating uh, in relation to some of those matters that have been brought up? I'm not advocating for what has been stated in the past for billboards. We haven't had a billboard. Tom's sign is not a billboard. Tom's sign is probably the max that's been in this town. Okay? But what I'm saying is I don't care. I, I, mean, I think that the, 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 the show was very specific. Is it okay for me on signs? That was his question. Yes or no? According to the Constitution, if it's on a prop, private property, if somebody wants to do that, I don't know. That I, part I, of I it. I think, I mean, I'm getting in, in yeah. Sean's way here, but I think that, that, that I'm interested and curious, and I'd like to write down the answer. Is it your testimony that you are okay with me on science? Well, that wasn't my question. Well, then let me ask my own. Is, are you okay with me on science? Oh, then we'll let this out. Oh, my God. Just as I was getting to take. The question I asked Mr. McNally was, uh, is something like it, is, is the issues that have been brought, are neon signs, should those be regulated? Uh, and then you, Mr. Chairman, had something, and then my question, I had a question back to you, which sure. cut off, which was, you had stated earlier that we were supposed to only ask clarification questions. I didn't know if that was a change or any, uh, No, I really want to get to make sure that, the, that this commission has got everything that the, 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 the art's got to say on the subject, and, and I have one thing that I'm still not clear about. So I'm My clarification to... would be, is there a point, and I'll, I'll say it a little differently just to make sure I'm clear, is there a point, Mr. McNally, where... Uh, we can regulate political signs. Um, issues that have been brought up include neon signs. Obviously, safety could be one that could be brought up. Is there a point where you would ad you're advocating for doing that? That's I'm just trying to understand. Neon signs is within the purview of this committee to regulate. Okay. Now, what someone chooses to put in that sign, I have no control over. So. I don't know uh, what what you're searching for. I am not advocating that we change Woodbury and have you know neon signs and billboards all over the town. What I'm advocating is that the present uh, regulation is limited and unconstitutional. 
And the regulation which has been proposed, in addition, is even more restrictive and unconstitutional. But it was, it's a very good question, Art, and you have not answered it yet. And I certainly I'm like the answer. answer. Well, I'm not satisfied. Answer. The question was, is there a point at which a limitation makes sense, or are you in favor of absolutely no limitation, which would include billboard and neon? That's, that would be up to the interpretation but, of the we're law trying and to the get Constitution. your opinion on the, on the record. I told all you what my opinion All is. he's saying is, Mr. Chairman, is that he's not advocating for unlimited signs, just his advocation tonight, and he clarified it in his first comments, were don't, you know, the restrictions that we have are unconstitutional and the proposed ones are unconstitutional. That was what he said, and he clarified it for me, that that's where his limitation of issue is, and just with those items, not anything else. So my question really wasn't relevant to what he was asking, because he wasn't advocating for that. And Martin, I will just answer your question with, I don't know. Just as you, as the chairman, have said many times you. that you don't know whether this present regulation is unconstitutional. Okay. Phil. Uh, Phil Butterly. Relative to what you just brought up, the, 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 we heard the last election about the town of Middlebury having these obnoxious signs. And yet the town of Middlebury met a businessman stopped showing a neon sign in his window at one point. So we obviously yeah. regulate some of that stuff. Has the business, my, my point for standing was, has the business community, either through, say, the Woodbury Business Association or individual business owners like Mr. LeBon here, have they been contacted about these and have you got any input from how they feel about the sign, about the overall signage? No, and I think that speaks, I think Carol asked a, a, a similar question earlier. No, we don't pick and choose people who we're going to specifically talk to. This is open to the public, all 9,500 people equally across the board. Mm -hmm. There are no special interests that get referred to, whether it's the business community, religious, institutional, or anything else, even town, other than that statutory referral plan. During the last campaign, uh, the uh, major representative of your party, for example, said that we wanted to make Woodbury more business friendly, and the signage is something that can definitely make Woodbury more business friendly to, to you know, the individual businesses either existing here today or thinking of coming into the town. That's, a, that's an excellent point, in my opinion, that's, a, that's long uh, overdue to be raised, the effect of the signs on the business community. Bill Butterly, the famous Bill Butterly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. New regulations actually restrict signage more uh, for business. Uh -huh. They put a cap uh -huh. of 24 square feet on, on signs for business. That's an interesting comment. I don't know how you could read it that way. Well, you've capped it at 24 square feet on, uh, in the new reg regulations that you have. The language, as I understand the language, simply says that you cannot discriminate against political signs. No, no, I don't mean political signs. I mean uh, other signs. You've brought the signage down to 24 square feet maximum in the new regulations. Well, and to clear up something about political signs, uh, my understanding of it uh, and reading the uh, constitutional law on it is that political signs are above all other signs and even commercial signs. The town can regulate the size of signs in town, but the political signs have to be uh, as big as any other sign, including commercial signs. In other words, uh, you have to have the same aggregate uh, footage. So whatever the largest sign is in town is what the political signs can be. In that district. In that district. No, 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 that no, no. no. no that's not what the lawyer said. Quite frankly, we're now discussing and taking testimony on the changes to the regulation. The change to the regulation says in that district. And 